Hello everyone, my name is Elizabeth, better known as Lizzie, and this is a Halloween project update slash Preptober video. For those of you that don't know, Preptober is October, but for writers, because we have to prep for NaNoWriMo, National Novel Writing Month, that happens in November. This video is going to serve two purposes. One, to update you guys on what is going on with the Halloween project because there wasn't any video last Wednesday. The second purpose of this video is to give you some advice coming from me during Preptober. Let's start with the update in case that's all you're here for, which I don't believe, but just in case. There's not such a thing as an update for my Halloween project. If you don't know or if you haven't seen my Healthy Sunday update, I took a break. I needed a break from filming, editing, stressing about things. I needed a time for me. So I did that. I did that with great results in the health department, in the writing department. I realized that I rushed into this project, I got the concept in my head at the beginning, and without further development, I jumped into it, and I needed a little more time to process what was going to happen, who were these characters, and uh, really what's going on. So that's my update. Nothing was written that is not part of the outline or the character sheets. So, and this is where the prepped over part comes along. I was shifting and reading some notes and I found a note and that was just like, in July, I did Camp NaNoWriMo without telling anyone. And when the, I think I didn't tell anyone, I don't remember. When it was done, I jot down five things that I have learned during Camp NaNoWriMo. And I realized that I completely disregard <laughs> these five things. So I want to talk to you about them. These are the five things I learned losing Camp NaNoWriMo. Number one, discovery writing. I work best if I do discovery writing. I am not a fan of outlines because I don't understand them. I can do them. I can do them. You saw videos on my Halloween project blogs where I outline the whole thing. The problem is that that goes against my discovery writing nature. I tried to outline in July too, and that was a problem. That's what's happening with the Halloween project. It's becoming a chore, and when something becomes a chore, you don't want to do it. You don't enjoy it. Number two, forcing different points of view. This happened to me in July. I was writing a romance and I wanted to do one chapter female character, one chapter male character, but the first few chapters came to me from the female character's point of view. So it didn't make sense that I tried to force myself to write the male character's point of view. I did, but it was not a good thing to do. I already have a problem with the discovery writing part, and now I was trying to force myself to write something that I didn't know how to write, that I didn't want to do it like that, it didn't come to me like that, it wasn't natural, so it was something else that was compound against me when I was trying to finish that project. This is not happening in the Halloween project because I feel like the male character is talking to me more, and I am not stopping him. I am letting him talk. Even though I'm not writing the story, it, he's talking to me. This sounds like I'm crazy. But if you're a writer, you understand. It talks to me in my head. I can see the scenes, I can develop men in my head, and he's the one speaking to me the most. Number three, and this is a problem that I have with this product too. Reading, writing, 
related books while drafting. To some people, this works. For me, no. I picked Romance in the Beat as the book that I was going to use to structure my novel in July and for this Halloween project. And it's been working. Problem. I started reading another book in July, which was Plot Gardening by Chris Fox. The book is amazing, but it didn't sit with what I was doing with Romancing the Beat. So I got confused. I got stressed. I was like, maybe I should outline like this, or maybe I should outline like that, or maybe I'm doing this wrong. I started to question myself and that's not good. Pick one book and stick to that book. Pick one style of outline and stick to that. Try to listen to advice. That's fine. That's not a problem. Don't try to apply the advice to the manuscript that you already selected a structure or a way to do it. If you see a mosquito, yeah, there is one. So I'm sorry for that. Number four, outlining while drafting. This also works for other people. I've seen people on YouTube that talks that, about this and say that this works for them. It doesn't work for me. Like I said previously, it stressed me out. And that was my problem in July. So if you're gonna do some outline, try to do it before drafting or stop your drafting for a couple of days and focus on the outline. In my opinion, try not to do them both. If this is your first writing project, both at the same time. You can outline and then draft, no problem. Or draft and then outline. I don't know how that works, but you can do that. Try not to do them both at the same time. And the last one, number five, accountability. This works. If you have a really good accountability partner or a friend that will ask you about things and if you're honest, <laughs> because you can say, oh yeah, I'm writing, yes, I'm about to finish this draft. Uh, sounds like someone I know, but you're not. Don't do that. That is just going against yourself. It's not worth it. You're looking for an accountability partner for a reason. So be honest. Find someone that you won't be scared or afraid or whatever you want to call it to say to them, I have not been writing. I have this problem. There's a lot of people on Twitter that are writers and also on YouTube. You can find accountability partners everywhere. Just try to develop a little bit of a relationship before. Maybe you're following someone that can help you. You don't know that. Look for people that you can support and help, and then see if they can help you. I, I firmly believe that that's possible. Uh, there's also writing groups, writing forums. I'm not part of them, but there are. So accountability is something that you can get anywhere. So those are the five things I learned losing Camp NaNoWriMo in July. I hope this helps anyone for Preptober, especially if you're starting to write for the first time, your first novel, your first project. Don't stress too much. Do it at your own pace. Sometimes you wanna do what other people do and you can try that, but one thing at a time. Remember what I said about books while drafting? One outline style or one thing at a time. If not, it's gonna be a chaos. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? You can do that by clicking the red subscribe button. And next to it, there's a tiny little bell that if you click it, you'll get notifications when I upload new videos. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.